Hey y'all, what up? Welcome back to the channel. Today y'all, as y'all can see by the title, your girl doing another unboxing and a review. I had a company reach out to me by the name of Galoza and they asked me could I review their digital wall clock. I've been needing a wall clock for a while now, a digital one, but I ended up getting that one right there. So, and I fell in love with it. So I just said, forget it. I ain't even gonna worry about it. I'm just use the analog clock. But when they reached out to me and they asked me, did I need one? I was like, yeah, because my mama can use it. My mama has um, very, very weak eyesight. She has glaucoma. She's had cataract surgery and anything that you could think of dealing with eyes, my mama has had it. That's why my eyes are so raggedy. So I said, well, yeah, let me go ahead and get it. And then I'll do a review on it and see how I like it. And then I'll just pass it on to my mom because I'm sure that she can use it. And the next time I go over there, I'll just put it up on her wall for her so she can see it. She might want it in the kitchen or something like that because my mama stay in the kitchen baby she love to cook so anyway i ain't gonna hold y'all too long because y'all know i don't like to make these reviews long and drawn out baby to give you a little bit more context on the digital clock it is a large digital wall clock with a remote control it has a stopwatch on it a timer a auto custom dimmer it has temperature on it it has humidity it has dual alarms you can mount it and you can put it basically anywhere that you want to put it and it did say that it could possibly be a gift for you know the more visually impaired people so without further ado i'm gonna go ahead and open up the box i have not opened the box yet because i like to open the box on screen with y'all so let's go here it is it came in this big large box right here and let me slide back a little bit so y'all can see everything that's going on i need to get me a box cutter or a box opener or something because I'm just using these raggedy knives for right now. But anyway, y'all, let me go ahead and put this in fast mode and I'll be back with y'all when I got the clock out of the box. Okay, y'all, so I have gotten everything pulled out of the box. This is the wall clock itself. I haven't plugged it up or anything like that, so I'm gonna plug it up, but I'm gonna show y'all first everything that came inside of the box. So you're gonna get a remote control, which is this right here, little cute remote control. Then it came with a power cord, and it also came with the power cord adapter. It looks like it can also take AAA batteries as well. Thank God Lamont always keeps batteries on deck because if I didn't have this cord, then I can always use the batteries. And then it also comes with these wall pins for you to be able to hang it up on the wall. Hopefully y'all can see that. And then it looks like that's about it. Oh, one more thing. It came with this measuring tape so you can put the holes in the wall. This is really, really neat. I've never seen this before. And I need this when I'm trying to mount stuff myself because I'm always mounting something and it's always crooked or lopsided when I mount it. So this is a good addition to have in this package, especially for older people if they're trying to do it themselves. And the numbers are big, this paper is big, so it's good for people that are visually impaired. So anyway, y'all, what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna go ahead and plug it up and turn it on just to see how I like it. And then I'll let y'all know, you know what I'm saying, how it works and everything. Okay, y'all, so I have got it plugged in. It is now turned on. And I just plugged it up back here. I put the, um, the charging cord in my socket and then just stuck this back here. I guess this is in case if you wanna hang it up on the wall and you wanna keep the charging cord inside of it at all times. I mean, you know, I don't know. I guess that's how, you know, some people might want it. My mom would probably want it like that because I'm sure she's not gonna want to fool with no batteries all the time. But yeah, um, this is easy. I just stuck it in there real easy peasy. And then I just pushed it in, matched it in so it could stay in position. And yeah, this is the clock, y'all. This is really cute. I love how big the numbers are. And I like that the date and everything is down here. This is really, really cool. I like this. So, um, oh, and look, it has the temperature and everything, y'all. I'm looking at this backwards, so if I'm looking crazy, I'm sorry. But 
Um, it has the temperature up here, which it says 72. Y'all, it ain't no 72 here in North Carolina, trust me. And um, what else is it saying? Oh, the month and the day. Of course, the month is not August and the day is not the 8th. So I'm gonna go ahead and change that. It says the humidity outside is 39% humidity. So I don't know about that. But anyway. So I'm gonna go ahead and try to figure out how to set this clock and everything. Y'all know, <laughs> Me and Lamont, baby, we do not fool with no instructions. But as far as this clock, I'm going to try to go ahead and use the instructions to set it so I can get the right date, time, and, and all that good stuff as well. Okay, y'all, so I've been sitting here playing with the remote, so I have learned how to turn it off and on. <laughs> that is so cool that you don't have to actually touch it, that you can use a remote. This is so handy dandy, baby, like... This is the business, it really is. Okay, so I'm gonna hit set. It asked me did I wanna do 12 hours or 24 hours, so I'm leaving it at 12. And then I'm gonna do set again to get the time. It's 7.46. What does that say, PM? What happened, y'all? Oh, Lord, hold on, y'all. Let me figure this thing out. Okay, I'm gonna hit set. And it's 2024. The month is one, right? And the day is, oh Lord, what's the day, y'all? The 29th. Oh Lord, what did I do? The month is one. Come on, clock. Okay, y'all, so I got the date. It's 129. You know what? Y'all. I am such a simp. I'm thinking about the degrees outside, y'all. It's not the degrees outside. It's the degrees in my house, y'all. It's 73 degrees in my house, y'all. That's what that is. I'm tripping. Okay, so anyway, it's talking about the humidity and the degrees inside of my house. Because I forgot I have my house set on 71 degrees. And that's what my thermostat says down here. Child. Have me no mind. So it's 71 degrees inside of my house and it's 37% humidity. And today is January 29th and it is approximately, well it's 752 now. So I'm getting ready to change this clock to 752 and I'm finna leave this clock alone. But I am thoroughly enjoying this though, y'all. Like I really, really am. I like doing stuff like this. 52, set, set, set baby, come on, set. Okay. So, I got it, y'all. We got it. <laughs> Thank y'all for being patient with me because y'all know I am. <laughs> I'm so crazy. Okay, so today is Monday, January the 29th. It is 7.52 a.m. I don't think a.m. or p.m. pops up here, but a.m. doesn't. So, when you don't see it, that means that it's a.m. And it is 71 degrees in my house, and it is 37% humidity in my house. Y'all, this is the cutest little clock. I like this, y'all. I'm going to give it to my mama, though, but I like it. I might have to, you know what I'm saying, spin the block and go back up here and get one of my own and put it in my bathroom or something like that because I really do like this clock, and I love this little added touch of the remote because I don't have to go behind it and set it and do all that. Anyway, I'm going to show y'all where I put it at on the counter, and I personally don't like it here. I would have to put it either on the wall in the kids' room or upstairs in my room or something like that because I just don't like a clock. I just don't like the way it looks sitting on the counter. But that doesn't mean that everybody else won't like the way it looks. I'm sure my mama would be okay with it sitting on the counter when I get it. So this is it, y'all. I think it's really, really cute. Like, I really love that the numbers are so big because they're so easy to see. Like, even for me, I love how big the numbers are. And then I also noticed on the um, remote, there is a, looks like a brightness and a darkness button right here. So I'm gonna see if I can turn up the brightness and the darkness. That's level one, level two. Oh yeah. Ooh, 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 baby. Ooh, it goes all the way up to level ten. That's what's up. I like that. Okay. So yeah, that means that you know um, it can be as bright or as dark as you want it to be. Okay. Yeah, I love that brightness. I would have to have it on level ten. Just for the simple fact that I love stuff bright. I can't stand no darkness. I am not a recluse. I am not a vampire. 
I like light, baby. So this would be perfect. I put the description of the clock and the link, the Amazon link, where you can find this set in case you wanted to get it for, you know, someone in your life that maybe needs something that is a little bit brighter or the numbers are a little bit bigger. This would be a perfect gift for someone like that. Like I said, I'm giving this to my mom. So yeah, I thank y'all so much for clicking on the video. I thank y'all so much for tuning in and seeing what I got to say on this unboxing and review of this large digital wall clock with a remote. Like I said, it was sent to me by the company named Galoza. I appreciate them for reaching out to me to even give me a chance to review their product and keeping it for free. So anyway, y'all, if y'all have not subscribed, please go ahead and subscribe. It's nothing it costs y'all nothing. I love the clock. I really do. I can't wait to give it to my mama because my mama is going to like it too. I appreciate the ones that have subscribed. I appreciate y'all, like I said, for clicking on the video because you did not have to. And I will holler at y'all in the next vlog. Peace.